Is it rolling? Yeah? Okay. We are at Bluey 2, the old abandoned Air Force station. The Americans built it to help out in World War II. This is where all the munitions were flown over. And then when World War II ended, they were like, okay, we're out. And they left everything. And initially the Danish government was like, hey, clean it up. Why didn't you bring your mess with you? And the Americans were like, uh, dude, we basically uh, won the war for you guys. No, you clean it up. That's your part of the you know, mon monetary burden. So no one did anything. And it's literally been here rotting, rusting for 70 years. And what's ironic about it is that we were going to come here anyway. And two days ago, the Danish government reached a deal with the Greenlandic government to clean it up. They're going to give them $10 million to clean it up. It's a huge environmental disaster. So the oil barrels and the fuel barrels here, there were sludge on the bottom. It's all rusted out. It's leaked into the ground. This is the world's most pristine environment. And it's basically been treated like dirt. And there are hundreds of thousands of barrels here, it looks like. I'm eyeballing it. Uh, this is a truck. And literally, it's like a weird abandoned playground because you can literally go in all these trucks, all these cars. Over there is the old American base, the hangar. And it's so dangerous to come here because it, even when it was operational, it was dangerous to come here. All these, uh, all these planes crashed. There are actually a few planes that crashed and the families are still looking for the bodies because the planes have been enclosed in ice and it's just very difficult to get to. This was a pilot's nightmare to fly into and they had to fly in and out at all weathers, all months because of the war. War doesn't stop for winter. And it was just, it was a blatant nightmare. And we are, um, we may be stuck in a bit of a nightmare ourselves. <laughs> So, um, I rode with Phil and Allie in the beach because it's the sturdiest plane and we landed first to check out the runway and it seems that our tires have been sinking into the soft ground, not unlike the trucks here. Uh, so while we got here, yep. So while we got here, um, it might be a bit of a beach to get out. And I think Phil might be having an anxiety attack, and frankly, I don't blame him. <laughs> but maybe that hot Swede will come save us. <laughs> 